Okay, so in this task, we're going to try and go over the practice uh, or one of the exemplar tasks that are available on TKI. So I'm doing the shopping mall one, and you'll be able to find that onto the website if you are coming to it from there. Otherwise, it's on TKI. Okay, so you've been told that you're going to use the information from resource A, and I'll show you that in a second, to report to a manager of a company as they allocate staff in building a new shopping mall. And it gives me a whole series of tasks that I need to do. Okay, so I need to draw the diagram. I need to, the tasks that are critical to the project, I need to find the minimum time limit to complete the project. I need the start and finish time of each task. That's all my critical diagram. Allocation of tasks, the number of supervisors given that supervisor can only supervise one task at a time. That's my Gantt chart, a recommendation for the week for the manager to visit the site. That again comes from my Gantt trial. A discussion about the impact of the project task D takes longer than three weeks. So that is gonna come across by both. A discussion of the impact of other delays in the project. It's minimum completion time, including implication for scheduling. So that's probably my excellence task and the rest are gonna help me get from achieved into merit. So resource A is this table and it's my precedence table. So I have a total of nine tasks. I've got the duration in weeks and I've got must be preceded by. So my first task in this assessment is to draw my critical path or draw my network diagram to enable me to work out my critical path. So I've got task A already typed in and I'm gonna copy that and I'm going to make a new task, task B, because those are the ones that have no precedence. Okay, I seem to have the donut of doom, so that's not a good start. So I'm just gonna wait for that to get over itself. So I've got task A and task B. Now, coming from task A, I've got three different tasks. I've got task C, Every time I type a letter, it seems to take an age. I've got task E, and I've got task E. So those are my first three points that I'm going to put in there. So that's there. So I've managed to tick off, let me just get a, if I can do a pen of some description. Who can let me do this? Probably not. No, so let me think of another way of doing that. I'm gonna do it by putting uh, an image in so as I do my different tasks I'm going to so I've ticked off task A and B and I've done task C B and E so I'm up to that point now I noticed task F follows task E so that's nice and easy I can go there and I can paste that in, and there is task F. This is running incredibly slowly this afternoon for some reason. So I've now ticked off task F, and then I notice task G follows task D and F. So task G going to come up about there and that is going to follow task D and F that worked ah but now I get my first problem because task H says it follows task B and C B's down here and C's all the way up there so that's not going to really work for me so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move task B from being at the bottom to 
to being at the top. And now I can put task H in between those two and my network diagram works. And then my last task is task I and that follows task G and H. So now if I just widen that to make it the same size of all the others. So now my network diagram is going to look something like that. So I've now got to just put my lines in to connect all my network diagrams up. I've done task H and I've done task I. So if I was to do this, I'm going to draw myself some arrows. So task B goes to task H. Task A goes to task C. Task A also goes to task D. And task A also goes to task E. Task E goes to task F. But also task D goes to task F. And task C goes to task F. H. Oops, no. Task D goes to task G. Helps if I actually read my precedent table rather than trying to do it from memory. Task F also goes to task G. Task H goes to task I. And task G also goes to task I. So therefore, there's my flow diagram. That is my network diagram. So that is the first part of my project. I had to draw the diagram first, and I've drawn the diagram. So that's that first video done. The second video is going to be doing filling in my critical path, to, or filling in my tape, my path network diagram to get my critical path, and then we'll look at the Gantt chart from there. Okay, so that's the first video done.